We've got the metal on the porch roof, which was a good thing because we got a pretty good rain over this last weekend. The log cabin owner and his two sons stripped all the old shingles off of the main roof and they fell through in two or three places. So it's in pretty sad shape underneath. So we decided to just go ahead and put some decking up there just to make it solid, to make it safe to walk around on. I'll have to put lath up there for the metal so that's actually what I'll be walking on is the lath. We've put half inch OSB up there just as a, a safety factor and I'm getting ready to put 30 pound tar paper over that and then I'll come back and start fixing the lath. I'm not sure you can tell there at the ridge it has really got a sag in it. It's about three and a half inches that I've got to build up underneath the lath so I can get things kind of straight. I'll take you up there, give you a little bit better look. I bit some flashing. I just got a couple flat sheets of this uh, gabby loom and put on there with the closure strips just in case there's a blowing rain from this direction. This is the side of the house that gets the prevailing wind, so I made up some flashing to put on there earlier. It's easier to walk on this with decking on here. The old boards that were underneath that actually had the wooden shingles attached to, they were in really, really sad shape and uh, wouldn't even hold a, a nail very well. But I've put all this decking on with uh, torque screws. Now this is the front side that I'm standing on and it's not as steep as the back side. I don't know how they did that, but uh, for some reason the back side is quite a bit steeper. The front side is about a 712 approximately, but this back side is more like a 912. I made the marks at the top up there at the ridge where the peaks of the rafters are and I'll be able to see the bottom tails. These aren't sticking out very far but I'll be able to get my line on the tar paper and make sure I'm anchoring the lath into a rafter. I'm back on the roof and I'm not sure that this camera's going to make that ridge look straight or the, the two before lath that I've got up there. I put a string across there and the worst part of the sag was three and three quarters of an inch and I couldn't have that. I had to shim up under the lathing, set it on top of the rafters, and I snapped lines on the roof where the rafters go, or where they are. They're running at quite a bit of an angle in places. It's just not square at all. So I snapped lines so I'd be sure and hit the, the rafters. And what I've done, I did the same thing I did at the ridge. I put a string up and I tied it to the bottom lath. Now this, this two before here, on the edge of the roof is actually, surprisingly, it's pretty flat and didn't have a sag in it. And I pulled off the porch edge up to the main roof on the same on both ends because I knew it was true. And so I'm making this roof parallel with the edge of the porch. I can work from that and square this roof up like I did the porch. And what I did, I just took a two before block and laid underneath the string and I measured from the top of the block up to the string to see how much I needed to cut to bring it up to where the lath would be running straight and look flat across this roof. I've done this every four feet. See there I've got some of the blocks on and when I put the lath on I may cut some some wedges and put it in between where the the blocks are. But the blocks are anchored down through the roof into the rafters really good so I'm not too concerned about the lath ever coming loose. Even out here on this gable up through here it was sagging some so it's not as bad as it was out in the middle. So I'll finish putting these blocks on and then I'll be able to start putting the lath on. Hey, this, uh, this is the front side of the main part of the cabin. It's all ready for the metal it was quite an ordeal to take the look of the sag out of the roof up there at the peak. I think I've already mentioned it was like three and three quarters of an inch low. And I've had to put blocks in and make sure they were connected to the, the rafters underneath. It's early in the morning and we've got a pretty good dew. So we can't get up on this porch roof because I think the way we're going to have to do this is to carry the metal up over the porch and take it up over the ridge and down and I'll be working the other side. So I'll be doing quite a bit of climbing up and down. I don't use a safety harness when I'm doing this. I have the lath to hang on to, and I've still got a pretty good grip of my hands. If I slip, I'm gonna definitely catch myself.
worked a rather long day the other day and got the flashing on the fireplace. I just had to actually start over with it. But I've got it where I don't think it'll ever leak. I'm sure thankful to get off this roof. Today I've had a special treat. I've got a, a friend here that drove all the way from Wyoming. He's been on a trip and he came by to, to see us and visit with us. This is Travis and his channel is 307JOAT. And I would like you to check him out. He's got a, a new sawmill that I was a little bit jealous of, and I had to repent just a little bit and not be jealous and just be thankful that he's got it. And I'm thankful I got it. Yeah, he's thankful he's got it too. Yeah. He does some really neat stuff in Wyoming. He's been uh, doing some salvaging timber for a forest fire came through, and I would like for you to just go check him out. He's got a great channel. I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, you're quite welcome. 